Hi, it's Mitz from My Life Mitz. Thank you so much for stopping by. It's so nice to see you. Today I wanted to show you what's in my pencil case. This is a pencil case from Muji and I recently had a Hobonichi meetup with a sweet friend. Her name is Chotsky Bell on Instagram and she also has some YouTube videos as well. And because I had to travel into Tokyo, I thought I would just take, I guess, my essentials. So I didn't want to carry like a heavy pencil case with all my stuff. So I just really took my essentials. So I thought I would share with you what's in here. So like, Alright, so I'm going to get right into it. Oh, actually, let me just uh, see the measurements here. It is about 17.5 centimeters by let's see 13 and a half and it is gusseted at the bottom here so it's not like a it's not flat um, there is a bit of depth here it's about three centimeter there just has a snap closure I just have a regular paper. I actually really like Palest Blue's idea. Uh, she just had a rag, um, I guess like a old t-shirt or something, uh, and she just cut up some old material and used that. It's reusable that way, whereas the tissue paper you have to get new ones each time. So I think I will most likely be doing that in the future. So here is my water brush. This is Pentel's water brush and fine tip. Do you know if there is one finer than this one? It would be really nice to be able to have a really, really fine tip one, but... Anyway, so this is the Pentel water brush. Something that I have been neglecting recently is this awesome... I don't know how many colors is here, maybe 10 colors or so? Uh, pencil crayon, multi-pencil crayon type of thing. And in the barrel here, there's uh, these colored lead. Um, and you select the color by rotating this piece here. So for example, if I want the red, I rotate this to the red. I push down and then, I, I don't know if you saw that, but the lead just came uh, right to the tip there and then it's ready to use. I think this is great if you are not into watercolor but still want a color in your Hobonichi pages or your notebook pages. I think this is really compact and very easy to use. This particular one I got from Muji and it came with the refills of these colors as well as a sharpener, which I should keep the sharpener in here because I'm finding that some of the tips here are already getting quite dull. But I also heard that you can purchase the refills from Daiso. So this is really convenient and uh, portable, which I absolutely love. Of course I have to have my Uniball Signo in the 0 0.28 fine tip black. Um, I don't know, I've been through so many of these. I'm, I think I'm already running out of ink on this one. Um, it's probably near the end there. But yeah, really love fine tip, especially for my Hobonichi Techo because it is uh, the A6 size. But I keep on forgetting that uh, when I journal, I try to do my writing with this pen and drawing with another wa waterproof ink and sometimes I forget and uh, I add some watercolor and then it smudges so I have to rem remember to just use this for writing but I love the fact that it's fine uh, fine tip so this is the pen that I use for drawing the photos or pictures sorry in my Hobonich Techo this is the uni pin waterproof and fade proof pigment ink in the Zero 01 tip. Really, really like this. I kind of stumbled upon it by mistake. I was at the loft store and I was short by, I think it was a dollar or a uh, hyakuen, 100 yen. Um, and so I just kind of pulled this out of there. Many, many pens. I just kind of pulled this out and I absolutely love it. So that's the one that I use for drawing and then this one is the Faber-Castell Pit Artist Pen in black. This is in the brush style. This is B. I received this from Maria Palis Blue and I love it. It's I kind of f view this Pit Artist Pen as a 
a way better version of the Daiso brush pen, which I still love as well. But the ink, um, like I find that if you push too hard with this Daiso brush pen that it gets streaky and sometimes I'm looking for that uh, style or look. Uh, but the ink here with this brush pen is really dark and rich and the ink flows nicely when you're on a downstroke and if, even if you push hard the ink flows nicely so I'm loving this uh, brush pen in let me just show you the tip here that's what it looks like the Faber-Castell brush pen artist pen in black sorry then I have a skin toned art grip uh, water color pencil and this is from Faber Castell actually when I met up with Chotsky Bell she had the I think it's called the Zig oh gosh I already forgot the Zig watercolor brush I think it was a brush um, marker and it was a skin toned one so I think I'm going to have to go that route um, it will probably make things a lot easier especially in the Hobonichi if you're on the go but for now, the skin tone, I just kind of fill in the small little areas with this watercolor pencil. Next is this wonderful pen that I received from my hubby for our anniversary. It's a Delphonics, and it looks like a pencil, like a mechanical pencil, but actually it's a, a fine tip pen. I absolutely love my fine tip, if you know me. Uh, so I have this in there. It's nice and thin. Like the body itself is nice and thin, so it doesn't add too much bulk. Uh, so I keep that with me. Next is this lovely uni style fit, and it has my name engraved. I believe this design was limited edition in Singapore, and my sweet friend Natasha sent this to me. Uh, it has three, well, two colors and one mechanical pencil. Uh, and the tip that I chose is 0 0.38. Please don't forget that um, when I first started using these multi pens, I didn't realize that they had a lot of the places have options for including a mechanical pencil insert. Um, and I think that is so convenient to have your different colors and then you also have a mechanical pencil. I think that for me is really, really convenient. And hopefully, you can see that. That's the mechanical pencil there. The only downside is that I think the one that I chose, the mechanical pencil that I chose, only accepts the 0.3 mm lead inserts, which are a little bit harder to find. Uh, but as you can see, it's very, very thin and portable. I don't use pencil too often in my Hobonichi Tejo, so I thought that this would be a really great combo. But yeah, don't forget, if you are into multi-pens like this one, um, don't forget to check out if you have an option of including a mechanical pencil to it. Next, of course, is just my glue stick. I was going to put my Hobonichi... Uh, I don't know if you've watched my Hobonichi order, but I bought one of those glue pens and I was going to include that in the pencil case. It will probably be a lot less bulkier than this, but I just didn't have the time to do it, uh, to get it out. This one is a ruler from, also from my hubby for our anniversary and it's just an aluminum 15 centimeter ruler and uh, he says that I can use the edges to cut uh, washi tape and things which I use often in my Hobonichi Techo. So really light and thin and perfect. Just some washi tape samples that I receive that I like to use in the for decorating. I have this uh, Coco Fuzen. I stuck two colors together. They're usually separated but I just stuck two colors there so that I can use uh, there's the pink and the mint and I'm not too sure why this is in there. I don't... I think what I used to do was, anyways, I would, uh, for my blank pages, I would indicate it by using one of these page flags so that I can remember to fill in my blank page a little later on, but recently there's just way too many blank pages that... I don't know, I haven't been using this. I have to play catch-up, unfortunately. And then I have this 
uh, another Faber-Castell Pit Artist Pen from Maria from Payless Blue. And this is also in the brush, and this is Warm Grey. I love this. It's very similar to the Mild Liner. It's really, really nice. I like the fact that it is brush. It's really smooth and uh, similar to the other one. The ink flows really nicely. The gray isn't too dark. It just adds the perfect gray if you're wanting to add some shadowing in your drawings. And lastly here I just have the eraser from Pentel. It's the Click Eraser for Pro. And look how thin that is. I love it. It is nice and thin and light. You just kind of click um, erase whatever you need and it's really great for precision erasing and this one I got from my mustache stationery uh, subscription box so those are the items in my pencil case for on the go I also had my uh, peerless watercolor palette um, kind of tucked in my Hobonichi and that was pretty much it uh, I just kept that in my purse and it was nice and compact. We ended up doing like um, a small little Hobonichi session after lunch. Uh, we had a nice little area where we had our pizza, pasta, and then we had our coffee and then kind of just had a short Hobonichi session. So it was nice to be able to bring something small like this. It had everything that I needed and yeah, it was really, really fun. I will most likely be doing a... I did a Periscope video, uh, but I will most likely upload, uh, just kind of edit it a little bit and upload it. We also went to the Traveler's Factory in Nakameguro, Tokyo, so I will show that as well. I'll kind of, kind of edit it and put it together. So I hope you enjoyed watching that. If you have a pencil case video, please do feel free to leave a comment below. I love checking everybody's pencil case, see what's inside. I hope you enjoyed watching. I will see you soon. Bye!